Many people waste hours editing videos manually, but what if I told you AI could do this for you in seconds? And these tools range from being able to create studio quality videos, being able to automate editing, and even being able to use AI to help you grow your YouTube channel. The first AI video tool we're gonna to be looking at is arguably the best AI video generator out there right now with Kling AI. And recently they have just released their 1.6 model. And with Kling's new powerful model, you are able to create text to video and also image to video. Video. And then again, both of these tools have exceptionally very, very good prompt adherence, which basically means if you put a prompt in, it is going to listen to it and you are going to get a very good result. And one of the things that you will also see as well is that you have a relevant slider, which basically means the slider, the higher you push it towards the relevance, the more it's going to listen to your prompt. Then if you push it towards the creativity side, it means the AI is going to be more creative with your prompt being to put some more AI fizz on it, let's say of your video generation. And whether you like it or not, low quality video and audio will kill engagement regardless of how good your video actually is. So that would leave you with a question of how can you record professional quality video before adding the magic of AI? So this is where Riverside comes in. Riverside is an all-in-one platform where you can film, record, edit and even create magic clips which is their way of saying creating viral shorts and that's why i personally use them to create my video podcast because of being able to create such good high quality content and make sure to go down below to the video description where you'll be able to sign up for free and make sure to use my code where you'll get an additional 15 percent off so here you can see now this is your riverside studio these are where your past video recordings are and then if you want to record any new videos you simply come up to record click on this and then this is where you can invite your guests if you're having a podcast or equally if you're just filming your own video and you want to do it in a professional setting you will also do it here and if you're speaking with another guest then you can just send them the link here or you can send it by email and that's how you'd film your podcast or you would film your own video and if you want to go to all settings then again you can go to recording and you have all of the different quality controls here that you want to play around with and for example as well if you've already recorded a video separately and it's edited but you want to take advantage of some additional editing tools built into Riverside you can also upload anything here just by pressing that uploading your video wait for it to load and then you'll be presented with it just like this now for this example we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how you can create some AI clips specifically magic clips as it's called with Riverside which is creating viral shorts for you to then upload to Instagram YouTube shorts or anything like that this is an old podcast episode that I've recently uploaded. And again, if you just want to go here, create with AI and as simple as this, you can either edit the full episode, but for this example, we're creating the shorts. So we're going to click on magic clips and straight away, you can see here, how do you want the clips to be? What do you want the duration to be? Do you want them to be auto or you can read right here? But for this example, let's do auto. And then do you want the focus of the speaker to be auto as well? So that means it bounces between me and my guest. So it was Steph in this example or do you want it to be focused on me or her? So for this example, I'm gonna say her, and then do you want it to focus on any keywords, you know, anything that we speak about? So for example, for me, no, I'm just gonna let the AI take care of this. So it will do its thing, and then you can just see right here, it's gonna load, and we'll wait for it. And just like that, the clips have been created. So if we, for example, want to go to, let's have a look what sounds good. Fear of the unknown, I like that. So we can just click on that and then straight away that will take us through to the Riverside editor. And then once you come into the editor, you have a lot of things you can play around with with editing a lot of the video. Now I'm not gonna go into great detail about it because I've made a very dedicated video about the Riverside editor, which is linked down below, which I recommend you go and watch. So you have a full understanding of how the editor works and how you can get the most out of it with all all of the different AI tools. But for this one right here, just very quickly, if we can see we have the text right here and we just wanna play around with it and we wanna edit it a little bit, then what we can do is just come around here, play, we can press black ground in black ground. And then we want it to be maybe, there you go, in capitals. And you can even play around with the colors. We can do, you know, blue, purple, uh, red that looks okay actually so if we watch the video very quickly i don't i mean i just kind of feel like boggled like my mind's just boggled by that i guess i mean they're comfortable with where they are you can hear that the audio is pretty good good because again it was filmed in that studio quality already but what we can do is use one of the ai tools right here by going up to ai producer coming down to magic audio and simply pressing apply and we're just going to press play and you're going to hear the difference in the audio of before and then after which has been edited i don't 
I mean, I just kind of feel like boggled, like my mind's just boggled by that. I guess I don't. I mean, I just kind of feel like boggled, like my mind's just boggled by that. I guess, wow. I mean, they're comfortable with where- the If you're happy with that, then you go down, press export, and you can export the video however you'd like it to be, 4K, 1080p, or 720p, and that is that. And you have a viral short ready to go. And if you want to sign up for Riverside, then again, make sure to go down to the video description down below, click on my link, and use my code where you'll get 15% off. Now, moving on to our next tool is an AI video editor, which is one of my favorite, which I use also for my podcast, but for podcasts that I've actually filmed in person with someone physically there. Now, this tool is called AutoPod, and this tool is incredible, and it will save you so much time for its multi-cam editing specifically. So, for example, if we have a podcast with two people, me and my guest, and we have a two-camera setup, then what you would do is click on the multi-cam editor, and by doing that, you'd then put in the details, so me and my guest, and then me and the speaker, and and then put in any of the fine-tuned details that you'd like to do and then you literally and i do mean this literally just press a button and you watch sit back as a loading bar comes on your screen and you watch the ai from autopod in real time cut between the different people speaking so between me and my guest and after it's done all of that you then have a cut <laughs> video podcast ready to go. Now the next tool we're going to be talking about is something that is very popular and most people know about and arguably use and that is Canva. And Canva is arguably the most popular or well-known design tool out there or one of them at least for anything to do with graphic design or design in general. And it has a great free account platform that you can use it for and also a premium paid account where you get access to even more tools. Now there are three main things that I use Canva for. I use it for finding b-roll video footage for any of my video projects as I think some of the video footage that it offers is really great and allows you to edit it and play around with it put your own stamp on it or style with it in terms of its color grading abilities and then also for creating thumbnails and then thirdly uh, as a bolt on to creating thumbnails is using it to create AI images to then put into your thumbnail and it offers very good flexibility and it is very good for what you get so just so you can see quickly here here are some of my behind the scenes thumbnails that you see right here for my podcast and then equally again for some of my AI videos that I make here as well and again this is just really really quick to show you but it is so 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 good if we want to look at any videos quite simply if you come up here and we say drone video then very good you can just see very fast you get a very lovely video that you can put to the correct aspect ratio just like that and then you can export this up to 4k and again this is a perfect video really that you can then color grade and put your own style on as well and then if we just come back here and we want to create our own ai image we can just say here create a realistic image of a podcast studio and then we can press styles as well and here we can have any sort of ones that we want to have a look at for this one let's just press filmic sounds interesting and we can press generate image and then you can see right here it's created the image in seconds quite literally and if you just want to play around with it it's very good quality and then you can use this to then put maybe in a thumbnail or anything like this but i just believe this is one underrated platform as a whole for what it can do with the video side of things especially on the thumbnail side of things and as we all know having a bad thumbnail will doesn't matter how good your video is if your thumbnail is bad people will not click on it. Now moving on to the next tool which is a natural progression from Canva. If you have a great video and I hope you have a great thumbnail that you've just designed on Canva, you still need to make sure that the video gets found and this works in tandem really in partnership with your thumbnail making people want to click on it but also with the SEO side of things and the keyword optimization of your video. And this next tool is vidIQ. Now vidIQ has a free version which is really great and offers great statistics and great information that you can use to help you upload videos and make sure they get seen and then also a paid version so either 
that one offer both value, offer the paid one, offers more tools, but I'm gonna show you it nonetheless. Now, the first thing we're gonna have a look at is the tool right here itself. Now, there has a website which you can see right here, and this is what it looks like with all of the different side panels here, today, optimize and all that, but it also then is connected to your YouTube account. And you can see right here that if you hover above here, you have all these different statistics. But one thing that I really love, I think is going down to the channel audit. And what you can see with the channel audit is that the AI and the tool as a whole has integrated into your channel and has all of the latest details. Now, as much as I love the YouTube analytics and it has got better over the years, trust me, it can still be confusing and a little bit overwhelming for some people. So what this does is gather all of that information and puts it all in one place. Now you have different days, 60 days, 90 days, but I like to leave it at 30. And as you scroll down, you can see content to double down on to what's performing well views per hour, engagement rates, views, subscribe, uh, subscribers gained. And as you go down more, you have more information. And then what's really interesting then is if you go that to content that could use some work, you can see videos that didn't necessarily perform as well. And for example, if we click on it, it will take you straight through to the direct area of the YouTube studio and you can just see any information right here and then if you come all of the way down you have some very basic metrics that you can use and see to make sure that you are using all of the vidIQ's tools or AI tools to optimize your videos so everything in green is very good anything in red is not great so you can see here for example my title length is a little bit too long so it even tells you right here it needs to be between 20 to 60 characters and even if you go up here it tells you it for description length tag tags, playlists, and all of the rest. So if you're building a video, making a video, you put it around the keyword to make sure it gets seen basically and found and ranked by YouTube. So if we come here, we could put in AI video generator. And what we'll do is just press enter. And then straight away, you can see the overall school and the search volume is very high. So this is what you want it to be. But at the same time, if you have a high competition ranking for it as well, then that means there's gonna be a lot of people also trying to compete for that. The ideal one is that you want it to have a high search volume like you have here, but also the competition is medium to low. So I would say anything below, I don't know, 50, 60, is good so here for me is very good and the overall score take combining these two is 77 so this is a good search term to have to build your video around when you're actually uploading your video to youtube itself you have a basic checklist from vidIQ that helps you upload the video and make sure everything is optimized now some of it is very good some of it i find a little bit strange with what it does but i'm still working with it let's say but overall it's just a very helpful reminder even for basic things even for putting you know timestamps in your video for making sure that you have an optimized descri description and also having an optimized title so you can see it gives a nice number there of 90 for the title and then here again it's overall optimized and you can see it's optimized because if we go down to here the vid iq sequence score so we have the triple words we have the let me just zoom in tag count the keywords in the description, keywords in the title, the tag volume, and then the performance, okay? That's what it's letting you know how the video is performing right there. And then by using VideoIQ and all of these little tools that I've said, again, there are many other ones that you can use and play around with, but these are some of the ones that I predominantly use to make sure that I have a high ranking video, making sure that it is optimized and it is as good as it can be, because if you're gonna spend hours on a video, you need it to be seen, and it's only right that you get a return on your investment in terms of the hours spent doing creating your video. So which of these AI tools are you excited to try? Let me know what you think in the video comments down below. Again, don't forget to sign up for your free trial with Riverside. The link is in the video description down below. Use my code and you'll get an additional 15% off also. If this video has helped you, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of this video and the AI tools mentioned in the comments down below. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.